well this is reaching us that says that uh, pdp actually shared insurgency funds well how did this uh insurgency phone funds get to the people's democratic party when the all progressive congress is the ruling party i think this is just a blame game on uh both parties but we are yet to find that exactly what the ap is talking about because they say that uh, the uh people's democratic party actually shared the insurgency fund so is it really the pdp that is the cause of the current insurgency that we're going through today because before the all progressive congress uh came into power they promised that they were going to ensure that there'll be an end to insurgency in nigeria but for six years down for five years we have been fighting insurgency and it seemed not to be stopping. In fact, it is increasing by the day. Most of the villages in some of the northern states have been taken over, permanently taken over by these bandits. And I wonder what the government of the day is doing about it. I wonder what the, 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 the people in power are doing about it. And all of this, they really do not pay attention to, but they are paying attention to young and peaceful protesters in Nigeria doing all things just to shut these young ones up. I think it is high time that even the northern guys put hands together to ensure that this insurgency stops because a lot of them are not seeing the light because the politicians and their governors and others in northern state do not want these people to see the light. So they keep them in utter darkness and ensure that, in de that they do not have a voice to speak. They try everything to suppress their voices but some of these uh, northern guys still do not see the reasons why they are being stopped from you know uh, uh, airing their voices because it is important they suffer most in most of these is insurgency issues but they are not speaking of what exactly is a problem anyway that is not the reason i'm here is just to tell you how pdp shared insurgency funds how is that possible anyway more details i'll bring to you about this but before then please if you have not subscribed to this channel ensure you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you get notified anytime we drop a new video yes and guys i want to say thank you for your love and your support thank you for all you do i do not take your love for granted and i hope that uh, you enjoy the blessings of everything that comes to life and godliness thank you guys okay let us dive right into the details of those reports as it says that uh, PDP shared insurgency funds. The ruling All Progressive Congress APC says it was unbothered by the by the criticism coming from the opposition PDP in the wake of re re rescues of an American citizen by the U.S. Special Forces on the Nigerian soil. Yekini Nabena, the APC spokesman, said. The PDP could not understand that combating terrorism and other emerging cross-border crimes require international collaborations because it was busy featuring funds meant for counter-insurgency operations during its time in power. We don't expect the PDP to understand this international best practice going by its evil penchant of diverting and sharing counter-insurgency funds to its political cronies. Mr. Nabena said on Monday while reacting to PDP allegation in Abuja, the PDP, in an earlier statement by Kola Ologbodinho, its spokesman said that the development confirmed that the APC-led federal government could not secure the territorial integrity of the country. Mr. Ologbodinho also said that the development further confirms that the Buhari-led administration could not arrest the wave of insecurity ravaging parts of the country. The APC spokesperson, count, spokesperson countered that, unlike previous PDP government, the President Muhammad Buhari government was not sleeping on the wheel on serious national concerns. Well, that was just a drag from both the PDP and the APC. But really, like I said earlier in one of my videos, I said pointing fingers should not really be found among uh, leaders, but rather they should take responsibility and face the truth and face what we are experiencing now because putting fingers on an administration that has gone five years ago it is a failure to the present uh, uh, government because they have not been able to even sort 
half of the issue of insurgency. So blaming it on a on past administration and past government does not even uh, uh, make any sense because it it actually shows how uh, uh, little and how small minded they could be because now it is their responsibility to hold whatever thing is going on in the country and they will be held responsible imagine how just one citizen of the united states was kidnapped and see the the the, the caliber of soldiers that was brought into nigeria to free just one citizen of an of, of america so it is important that nigeria puts their priorities right a state so many states in the north have been experiencing insurgency and this is what the leaders are arguing that past administrations did not take responsibility of these things that is why they are suffering it that if they are taking responsibility of it that they would have you know uh, been over with but this uh, present administration what really have they done concerning that of insurgency of insurgency in the country and you know this uh, apc leader was saying that uh, the PDP actually do not even understand what it means for uh, foreigners to come and fight uh, insurgency in one's country and free up uh, a, a citizen because they were not that exposed to even understand that it has to do with collaboration from both uh, countries for that to be successful. Nobody is disputing the fact that it has to be about collaboration. Why haven't Nigerians collaborated with other countries to stop insurgency in Nigeria? Those are the things we should be asking ourselves. Why haven't the country, why haven't the Buhari-led administration actually put hands together with other foreign countries that can stop insurgency in Nigeria? I remember some time ago where the president actually went to one of these African country just to go there for a peace meeting to ensure that to help fight insurgency when your country, your state is in a serious mess and serious shambles from the hands of insurgencies and bandits and yet you go to other nations to help them uh, uh, settle or bring peace to their nation. That means you are an hypocrite, a very big one because what your house is suffering, you have not been able to handle it and yet you want to go and settle that in another person's country. These are some of the things that Nigerians are tired uh, about these are some of the things that Nigerians are talking about. These are some of the things that has made so many things to become so wrecked in the country that some of them looks irreparable. And I hope that these people would understand that Nigeria is one place that is for everyone. And the quicker they understand, the better. But this government of the day is really not taking responsibility as much as the people have actually put hope in them that they would take care of the country. A lot has been happening but what can Nigerians do they've lent their voices but yet they are still trying to shut their voices what is the way forward anyway guys thank you so much for listening what do you think about all of this endeavor you drop it in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thank you for being here I really do appreciate you and do have a pleasant time bye for now